hey guys welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell that way you'll be updated with all my new posts i post every wednesday at 5 p.m so stay tuned let's get right to the video i like to start with a dark corrector and my concealer and I use two different kind of concealers from NYX. I use the uh, Caramel and then I use the Golden Honey. And I'm going to show you how I place them. I like to listen to meditative music. It keeps me nice and calm. It keeps my brain just smooth. Now you want to blend it out. And you can just do this with your finger or a brush. But since I'm in a rush today, we're gonna be kind of doing the fingers and brush. We're gonna be blending it out, mixing it up, I mean. See how it just fixed that dark spot? This tip from another YouTuber, um, I think her, her makeup by Shayla, and she said put the concealer over the dark, well, the dark corrector. So it actually does work really well. I'm using the caramel because it's closer to my color. And I'm just going to blend it on top. You see? So she gave some great advice because that worked well. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that? Let me finish up. Now, if you're more so of a natural girly, this would be the perfect look to just hide all your blemishes really quickly and just step out. Okay, I forgot to show y'all my concealer. So I put the caramel at the bottom, just like this, of my eyes, and then I blend it out. And this is what I do before I put on my foundation, because I find that it brightens up my eye better, and I don't need as much concealer later on when I do my contouring. Okay, so now that's finished. We're going to be moving on to, <clears throat> I'm sorry, my voice is, it's early in the morning. It's like six o'clock, so I'm still getting ready, waking up. Oh, eyebrows. Now y'all just want to brush it up, okay? Now I used to do my eyebrows way different than this, but I, ooh, I literally just learned this technique, so bear with me. I like to really brush them up. So for my eyebrows, I used two different browns because this was kind of like a lighter brown with the NYX Espresso. And then this one is more toward like my shade. And sometimes I put a little bit of black in there just to, you know, bring it out. Cause I got dark brown hair or black hair or whatever color hair, I mix the brown and black. So that's what I do. Now I'm going to basically do this like I did the brush, but just take the color of the pencil and lightly tap it on your eyebrow to bring it some color like that, like a little tint. You don't want to do it too much because you want to make it look as natural as possible. See? A bit darker not too much but just to get that corner and the reason why is because my eyebrow stops like right here so in order to continue the brow I draw it on okay now we're going to ooh, wrong thing ha! <laughs> now we're gonna brush up with this I like this one because it's a smaller bristle you see they're closer together so it really just really good for shading And this takes me a while because I like to really um, make sure that it look perfect. <laughs> if there's a such thing, which it isn't. <clears throat> so it just takes me a while. Moving on really quickly because I got like literally 15 minutes. Um, when it comes to my eyebrows, I literally just clean it up with like a Q-tip because I don't like all that concealer. I try to keep it as natural as possible. So I'm going to use this um, 
NYX brow thing to fill it in more with a little bit more uh, color and yeah I'll be back okay so I know this is a little bit rushed but like I said I only have like <clears throat> 15 minutes so if you guys want to see more videos on how I do my makeup just let me know I know this has nothing to do with my makeup right now but I really gotta separate some these twists <laughs> I'm literally in a rush but um yeah let me know if you guys want to see more of how i do my makeup i'm not done yet i just wanted to put this in really quickly to let you know that this video is going to start getting a little more faster because i have a short amount of time so now we're moving on to the foundation i'm going to be using nyx this is a nutmeg let me be real careful here because last like i said i've been getting this on my face i mean my make my shirt goodness and um yeah this is nutmeg now when it comes to my foundation, I like to keep it light. And I typically use this brush right here to just start the blend, you know? And I always go down to my neck cause you wanna blend it out. And since we're doing a everyday look, I'm going to be just putting on my little powder. This is the, this is the mocha, wait. Um, yeah, this is the mocha color. It works well in my complexion, so. It doesn't look like a mocha, but that's what they call it. So, yeah, you just blend it out. That's what I typically do just to make the foundation look more um and when i do the powder i just do this and then tap it on the side so you get that little residue um off and it don't fall on your shirt you know my setting spray just to really set that um foundation and that powder put on the golden honey which is the second concealer this is a lighter one like two shades lighter than me I like the caramel. Well, actually, no, the caramel is kind of like my color, and this one's one shade lighter than me. Oh, nose. And then I'm going to use this brush right here to just blend it out. And you see how it just lays really well on top of the eye from using that um, concealer the first time? I mean, in the beginning. And you don't really need that much and it just opens the eyes you always want to make sure i always found that using the two concealer method as well as using a concealer closer to your shade and just a little bit lighter keeps your under eyes looking like a natural glow instead of that like white looking uh stuff that be on people's eyes i don't really like that look i mean for, to each his own but for me i like to just keep my face looking as close to me as possible okay so next step i'm going to go in with the contour i use a powder because um when i use that that creamer that liquid i find that it get like stuck right here on my face and it look like i got a line and i just really don't like that look you know so i like to just do a little bit and just you know hit that little corner right there you see just a little bit you don't need to be line it up it's just doing too much so i did the top of the forehead just to blend it out and i only do one little um you know smooth with a powder and just use it one good time all around the face because this is real dark so you don't need to be piling this up on your face you're supposed to just lightly bring it through then i like to go back through with my foundation powder just so i don't look so uh what they call it sun kissed that you know you can't see my real color so let's just blend that out oh dang rock popping yeah i swear on the next video you guys i'm gonna go way slower i didn't time this out right i thought that i'll have enough time to film this in the morning before work but I don't. These are the two blush colors that I wear for my complexion. If you guys are my complexion or darker and looking for some blushes or color, this one is called Rose and Play, and this one is called Red Riot from NYX, and it works really well on your skin. I'm gonna be using this one today just to keep it um, natural. So angle brush right here and just dab it like I said, you know, 
tap to the side and just put it on lightly. You don't want to be, you know, some people like to pile blush on their face, but me, mm -mm. I already feel as, you know, as a black woman, we don't need to be just powdered on blush, you know, because <laughs> we don't really <laughs> blush like that, you know, so let's just go ahead and keep it light. Yes, honey. The Maybelline Lash Sensational um, Mascara. I like to put this on before I put my eyelashes because I feel like it, it kind of protects your eyelashes, I feel like. And um, it's a good base for your eyelashes to lay on top of, especially if you're using eyelash glue. Because I found like when I don't put the mascara on before I put these eyelashes on and I'm pulling off these eyelashes at night, you know, and my eye, my real eyelashes be coming with it. And we got to keep these boys as thick as possible without these fake ones because I don't want to look bald in the face, you know, like a naked mole rat. Okay guys, so I'm going to be using these eyelashes right here. I got them at the beauty supply store. They're just some wispies. Now, my eyelashes, these, I've had these eyelashes um, over six months. And look, they still look good, you know? I don't really wear eyelashes every day. Maybe that's a thing, but um, these last me a long time. And I'm going to put them here like this. And I'm going to be using um, Kiss. This is what I got right now. Typically, I use Duo the Black because it blends better, but it's the process of putting on lashes because, like I said, I don't wear them all the time. So when it's time to put these boys on, it takes me a minute, you know. But I get, I like to get it on the lash line because it look more natural. Let me do this in the mirror, y'all. So to make sure that my eyelashes are like blended, I use this tool here. Now people ask me where I get this tool. I actually got this in esthetician school. Um, this was some years ago and um, I actually plan on wanting to go back and finishing it up, but I got this there with the uh, Dermalogica kit. So if anybody know what I'm talking about, y'all know that that product is amazing. It's quite expensive, but I'm telling you, that's a really good skincare line. And it works for all type of skin. Um, but yeah, these work amazing for, you know, smashing down that lash to your lash. And that's exactly what I do. And that's how I blend my lashes out. Boom. You know? With this tool, look. It just comes right on through and smashes it right on down. Like, what? And people ask, I don't like the individual lashes. I tried those and it just feel like some of my eyes all day. And it was just heavy and... I can't do that so strips it is this is my everyday lip combo a nice espresso a nice nude this is a really good nude for brown girls this is called natural and um nyx so yeah definitely take a look into that color because it's hard to find a nude as a black woman like literally and they be telling you, you know, this gonna work for you, but it really worked for lighter complexion black women. Like, and and there's nothing, I'm not throwing no shade, but it, it just don't work for a lot of brown girls. Like girls with a little bit deeper melanin going on. Um, so, and you know, I know I'm a, a little bit on the lighter brown side, but I also have really red, red undertones that make it hard for me to match with a lot of stuff. You know, and I just like to put the uh, the noodle on at the bottom and tap it at the top because I don't like overdoing it. Now, I like to leave it matte because it lasts all day, but for you guys, I'll do a little glow. My ex, it is the Butter Gloss Fudge Me. So, we're going to use that and... Um, just place it a little bit at the bottom like this now I know a lot of people you know pile on the lip gloss but I feel like with these kind of lip glosses because they're already buttery the lighter you are the longer it'll last and it just sits on top of the lip I'm gonna fix this this jumpsuit stay falling down I'm sorry this is the look though I'm happy 
even though it was a quick look, it came out good. Also, I know I forgot to do this, y'all, and I thought about this on the way. It's to set this powder, honey. I mean, under my eye. And so we are gonna set it real quick. Some people got a whole routine, and typically I do too, but right now we in a rush, so. You just wanna set under your eyes real quick, and I usually do my nose too. Everything right there. Okay guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And definitely check out my website. Purchases will be available soon. Take care.